Where is everyone? They're joining us. <laughs> Patience, grasshopper. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Been busy. That's great. Good to hear. I know. I've missed I'm all my tech to... tech wizard classes. <laughs> They're recorded. So I'm just trying to get us going live on Facebook. So I'm trying to do right. two things at once. So join us. And then I'll get some music going shortly too, but I just wanna get this live portion going first. So that's good. And now I'm gonna add the link and then get some music going. Good morning, Ladasha. Good morning, how are you? Doing good, how are you? I'm doing well. You guys got internet again? Um, Kahului does, but I'm on the west side today, so. Ah, okay. Good morning. So I am going to share my screen. All right, Keone. It's all you. Oh, mute, unmute yourself. Of course, right out the bat. Rookie mistake, <laughs> right? Good, good start, Keone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, good You're morning. I'm trying to everyone. make it seem like my coffee wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lisa is obviously not here today. She's uh, taking some personal time to go see her mom and vacation with her husband. So you got me. Anyway, um, so we'll wait a couple minutes for everybody to come on. But um, I want everybody to know that um, the National Convention, the National Association of Realtors Convention has started and it started actually on the second with a lot of governance stuff but it runs till the 18th um and actually john legend the john legend the the singer will be actually um a speaker on the 18th and he's going to be talking about um fair housing and the future of fair housing and what i guess he thinks that looks like um and let's see that they have a couple of general sessions with uh, Vince Malta and Anthony Mackey. Vince Malta, I think, is that um, uh, um, the president of NAR. And then uh, Anthony Mackey is the is the actor. Um, and then the closing will be Glenn uh, Glennon Doyle. Um, who I don't know who that is, but anyway, suppose she's, uh, maybe you guys know who that is. Um, anyway, uh, it does cost some money. It's all virtual, obviously, this year. Usually it is in a location. Um, it kind of goes east coast to west coast, east coast to west coast. Usually it's in places like um, Orlando. Uh, it has been in Vegas. It has been in San Francisco. You know, this convention is really big, so they usually have to have cities that can accommodate large groups. Uh, New Orleans, it's been at. Um, we are actually the first large, we are the largest convention after Katrina that came in. I think we were there a year after it. Um, and um, I ended up going to that and it was incredible. 
um, people were super happy that we were there because, you know, they were struggling for a while after the hurricane. And we did a lot of um, uh, Habitat for Humanity building and stuff. And it was it was a cool event. Um, so anyway, if you get some time and you have some money to um, put in there, I'm not sure if they all card it or you have to pay for the registration one time. Um, but there are some classes. And, and if you... Um, if you register, you can go back and look at sessions that already happened, um, similar to the to the uh, Keller Williams um, convention. So um, check that out. They do have a vendors area too, where you can put your name in for free stuff, and you'll get a ton of emails more than you already get. So anyway, um, let's see. Did Michelle get on yet? I don't see her on yet. So. Um, Latasha, are you ready for the tech update? I can be. <laughs> I can stall. I got other things to talk about. <laughs> no, I'm good. Go ahead. Thank you. All right. So, um, Keone asked me to share a few things, um, as it relates to tech. And so can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Keone, really quick, I'm going to make you a co-host just in case um, you see anybody that I'm missing as I'm talking that is joining the meeting. Okay. Um, okay, so um, for tech, as it relates to command, there have been a lot of updates. Um, some of you um, have had um, seen the updates. Um, we still, let me take a step back in terms of the updates. So the, app, the updates occurred last weekend and they were fist fixing over 100 known bugs within command. And so in that fix, it did resolve some issues and unfortunately it did create a few more. And so if you run into any issues in general, please um, reach out to Robert and or I to guide you in that process. But what I wanted to share is a couple of tips and new things related specifically to command. So the first thing is this, when you log into your home screen, um, you will see, if you haven't already, there will be a purple guided tour pop-up that will be on the right-hand side. And you can click on that in terms of being able to see what the guided tours are. They've updated it and there's three or four different ones. If you do not see this purple pop-up, you can always go to the question mark on the top right, click on that. You can select all of the guided tours that you want that we have. Again, I think it's three or four. You can also directly go right into Keller Williams University from there. You can also do chat with support. You won't be able to do a live Zoom, but you can chat with them. And the caveat is that you have to make sure, be conscious or cognizant of the time difference. And so, you know, if you're working late um, at night, our time, Hawaii time, um, there may not be someone available. And then if you have an idea that you think we need to, or KWRI needs to institute as it relates to command, you can click on that. So just wanted to share that with people in case you did not see that. Um, the other thing that I wanna say in terms of new things, um, Teams have gone live. And so when you get into Teams, um, if you are on a team within your drop down menu on the right, so I'm clicking on my avatar name and then the down arrow. If you are on a team, you'll see this pop up and you can toggle underneath other accounts. So you can toggle between the teams. Um, so just wanted to give you a heads up on that. There is extensive training that's going on within KWRI, excuse me, KWRI for teams. Number one, um, Marty Miller has started a new series specifically for teams. So if you are not subscribed to Marty Miller, please do so. He has started that and I believe he's either on his fifth or sixth um, training. Um, also, some of you are very familiar with Scott Leroy um, and his team. They also are doing a team training on the 23rd. So what you can do is log on to their website at Scott Leroy um, and then you can also either email them and or go directly to their site and that training will also be on their YouTube channel. Channel. If you have not subscribed to um, Scott Leroy's YouTube channel, it's a great channel, um, very similar to uh, Marty Miller, and but he has different um, members of his team. So you get a little variety in terms of presentation. The other thing is about contacts. 
So if you click on the red um, area where it says KW at the top, it will give you the elongated um, names of all the applets in case you ever get confused. So within contacts, I'm gonna click on contacts and hopefully my internet here will um, cooperate. So within contacts, we can now see up to 500 contacts at a time. And so many of you were asking for that. And so how you change that is this, you click on the left hand, excuse me, right hand side, where it says show one through 96, you click on that. And then you can go down and you can do 100. Once you click on 100 or 500, whatever your view is, it'll say save smart view changes, change that. And then you're gonna be able to see up to 100 contacts at a time. The caveat that I will say is even though that you can see up to 500 contacts at a time, it does not translate to smart plans. Meaning that if you're doing smart plans and command, you can only add up to 50. If you ever wanna change your custom column view, you can click on this button right here where it says custom column view, you click on that and then you it'll pop up um, depending on your internet speed. And then you can um, edit the edit the customized um, columns here. And so you can toggle between those two, um, adjust them however you want. And so here would be clicking on the customized columns. So here it'll show you all of the columns that I've tagged or you have tagged. Um, and then you can toggle between them or basically click on the handle and move it up or down to change it. So that's an update. And then you can save that view if you want to. Two other things and then I'm done. Um, designs, designs um, have a lot of updates in the social um, category for the holidays. So if you're sending out holiday reminders to your clients, um, there's some new fun designs. And then listing tips, um, one thing about that. So on the applet on the left-hand side, you wanna go to listings, it's the second from the bottom. And once that pops up, if you ever have any issues with listings in terms of your listing not showing up, the first thing you wanna do is check listings in general and see how that um, teal bar is underneath listings. Then search your listing there first. If your listing shows up there, but it doesn't show up in KWLS, let us know and we can get that escalated for you. So that are that, that pretty much is the tips for today, unless there are any questions, but that's what I have. Awesome, thank you. Are there any questions for LTTC? What is, uh, uh, this is Aisha. Uh, hi, Latasha. Hi, Kuni. Aisha. Aisha. So what is the nature of the new box that came in? Can you just give us a, a rough idea if we see something that it just needs to be fixed later? Like in what area are the- Yeah, so boxes? for the listings, it's more of a back-end mappings um, that it's your listings are showing up um, globally and nationally. However, there is a glitch on the back end for KWRI. And so it's a mapping back end software um, that needs to be updated, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So that is the reason. So that's why I <clears throat> suggest you check the overall listing first, just to make sure that there's no issues there. And then if it doesn't show up, then that tells me it's another problem. But if it shows up there and it's just not under your listing, then I know exactly what the problem is. Okay. All right. Any other questions for Latasha? Okay, if one comes up as you're sitting there, I don't know, yell out and uh, we'll get those answered. Okay, so a couple of things uh, before we bring Michelle on for an update. Um, I hope everybody noticed that, that RAM has now taken over um, the caravan. So all your caravan uh, input stuff is now, um, you've probably seen the emails, is through RAM. So don't forget that. Um, that's a big change. Um, it used to be kind of handled by the affiliates and then there was kind of some hoo-hoo. So RAM took that pack over. So- um, There were some what? Hoo-hoo, you know, hoo-hoo. That's a nice way of saying some, you know, anyway. Okay, so we'll move on. Um, Michelle, thank you for joining us. And what do you have for us today?
You're on mute. That would be helpful. Thanks, Keone. Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday uh, and happy Veterans Day for any of you who are veterans. Uh, thank you for your service. Um, it's truly appreciated. Okay, so a couple of reminders for this week. Continuing education, if you haven't wrapped up your continuing education, please do so. We'd like you to renew your license by the end of this month, November 30th. Uh, my CE is complete and I will be renewing my license today. So as long as everything goes smoothly, that will then trigger everyone else's licenses to start renewing. So if you're not done, please wrap that up and be able to renew your license for next year. HAR last week also released, maybe two weeks ago now, new forms. So if you haven't been pulling your forms from zip forms, please do not save forms to your desktop and use them. Every time you create a contract, please go into zip forms because it'll create the proper footer for you on the contract with your name and company on it, as well as provide you with the most up-to-date form and our template. So make sure you're using the proper forms in HAR. The way you know is it'll say um, updated or revised 11, 2020. And it'll tell you if the content has changed. If there's no change on the content of the form, it'll, be, it'll say NC, no change. So they've reviewed the form. They've considered updates, but there weren't any to make. Most of the forms have some kind of content change, even if it's very minor. Um, or a formatting item. So make sure you're using the most current forms. And then last but not least, um, there is a form that you can use that is within the MLS function called zoning and flood confirmation form. And I highly recommend this to you for definitely all your listings. Um, but I even use it when I'm representing a buyer. Um, if you go into the MLS in the far right hand top side where it says MLS documents, you click on that. It gives you a list of documents. This form is at the very bottom, zoning and flood confirmation form. It's a one page form. The only thing you as the agent fill out is the very top block and it's, it's got a hard outline in a rectangle at the very top. Basically it's your name and your contact information, the address, the TMK number of the property. And then you email it to the planning department, County of Maui Planning and their email is on the top of the form. So you don't even have to remember it. It's right there. Email it to them. It takes anywhere from five to seven days and they email it back to you fully completed and it's filled out and it says to you, here's the zoning, um, state county zoning, the flood zone rating. Are there any special markers for that property? Is it in a historic district? Um, is it in the SMA? So this is a form that's super helpful. You can upload it into your associated documents in your listing. And again, you're providing the, the source of the source. The county fills out the form, you upload it to your listing, associated docs, and it's there for everyone to view. It's a great way to eliminate all those, well, is it this or is it that? And what can I do on it? Because it very clearly states what the zoning and the flood is. That's helpful for getting insurance on the property. It's also helpful for when you're completing the seller's real property disclosure statement. At the top, there's a space for the realtor to fill in what is the zoning information. Well, you already got it. You got it on this form, zoning and flood confirmation from County of Maui. So use your resources, they're free, and let's have a great week. All right, thank you. Any questions for Michelle? What about the form? How do you see the forms uh, on the Big Island MLS? Do you use zip forms for your form? Yes. Okay, so on the right hand side, there's a form library where you can click the toggle and it drops down and gives you a list of all the forms that you can I'm use. Familiar with the zip forms, but on the MLS, that the flood. Uh, oh, the flood. That's a county of Maui form. It's a county specific form. So that oh, form is only for county of Maui agents. I will check and see if there's a similar form for Kauai and Hawaii. That'd be great. Yeah, because it seems helpful like that. Because we. Yeah, um, very helpful. So we'll look yeah. into that for you. Thank you. Michelle. You're welcome. Can I just add one thing, Michelle? Good morning. Good morning, um, Marianne. 
Hi. Welcome uh, back. Thank you. I wanted to remind everybody that uh, when you have a seller who wants to remain in the house after closing, we no longer use a lease. Um, that is because the occupancy is part of the sale. It does. It means that the seller does not become a tenant. And so we now have something called a post-closing occupancy form. So if you aren't aware of that, you'd never know it, right? You'd never go and look for this. So um, we really need everybody to know that um, use that post-closing occupancy. It's under P in the zip forms <laughs> library, um, not under L for lease. So um, there you go. Thanks so Thank much, you. Marianne. Thank We're you. Welcome home. back. Yes, welcome back. Okay, a couple other things uh, before we finish up. Um, I did mention at the beginning, there are a bunch of people that came on since then, that uh, the National Association of Realtors convention is going on right now. It started on the 2nd, uh, goes till the 18th. The 18th has John Legend as a speaker and a few others. Uh, the 18th is kind of the big closing day. So there'll be a lot of things going on there. Uh, it does cost you money. Uh, if you register, you can look at past um, recordings, things like that. So um check that out you can just go to the national association of realtors website and if you haven't been there you should go check it out because there is tons of resource things on there if you have stuff that you need to throw into your posts for your command i mean all kinds of stuff that you can use on there um so i want to talk to you a little bit about um tightening up your business uh for uh, litigious purposes in 2019, there were, uh, this is FBI data, there were 20, uh, sorry, 12,000 victims of cybercrime last year, right? And, a, and of an amount of $22 million that were taken from your clients. So you need to be very cautious on, on emails and, and, you know, pick up the phone gang pick up the phone whenever you're sending money whenever you're, you got to tell your clients that too whenever they're sending money pick up the phone make sure they talk to the the um escrow companies direct you know agents directly officers directly um there was a case where 100 just recently a hundred eighty thousand dollar down payment was actually taken and it was um the agent and the and the buyer were, were smart enough to stop it. They kind of didn't go into detail on this, but they were able to stop it, but it still cost them $2,000. They stopped it at the $2,000 mark. Guess who's going to pay that $2,000 if that happens to you? The agent, right? And I say that <laughs> because there is a uh, case law now. Um, a realtor was sued for not monitoring their email. They were ne 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 uh, negligent in monitoring their email. They could not show proof that they had the discussion. They couldn't show proof that they were, you know, doing anything to prevent, prevent them from, from doing, uh, from preventing the fraud, which is crazy, right? Right, Bob, I see you laughing over there <laughs> in disgust, but. <laughs> It, well, uh, I just mean, you know, you're sued for not monitoring your email. I mean, <laughs> if you're not monitoring your email, you shouldn't be in the damn business. How about that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that color commentary. Yeah, I mean, what's the matter with you if you're not monitoring your email? No, Thank I get you. it. I sure. second that. Yeah, no, if you, I, and my point is, yes, you got to be in the business gang, you cannot treat this as a second business or a second, you know, as a hobby or anything like that. The risk is too big. And not only for yourself, but for your clients more so right your fiduciary duty is to your clients at all times. So make sure that you um, look at um, look at that. Um, and, um, you know, and it is Veterans Day today. Uh, thank your veterans that served, um, but also thank their families, right? The families are the ones that sacrifice kind of the most, right? The kids, the wives, the husbands, um, the parents, the brothers and sisters and all that. So 
make sure you do that um, and, and, you know, send a little post out. My grandfather fought in the war. He was in the 442nd Infantry, which is a famous uh, Japanese uh, regiment, and he was a sergeant. He was actually Daniel Trivia. He was Daniel Inouye's sergeant back in, in the day. Wow. So um, Daniel Inouye used to be at my grandfather's house, and we were young. We didn't know who he was. You know, we were running around and causing trouble. And um, But anyway, make sure you um, uh, thank the, uh, the veterans and their families today um, on this special day for them. You know, we, we had our election just recently, and we had that opportunity to vote. I don't care who you voted for, but it was because of them, right? It was because of them fighting for our, our right to do such and all the other things that we get to do in this free country, right? So anyway, with that, if we don't have anything else, um, short and sweet today, guys. Oh, Cheryl has something. Thank you. I just want to remind uh, um, people that there is a class tomorrow taught by Marion uh, on zip forms and purchase contracts starting at 9 a.m. So if you haven't registered already, register. Um, if you're a new agent, it's especially important or if you need to review. Right back to business, huh, Marion? <laughs> <laughs> and she's teaching oh. women with buyers tomorrow at one. <laughs> and, and don't forget <laughs> that's, that's open. That's open for everyone, right? If you, right. If, you, if you haven't done 12 transactions last year or this year, you should take it. It's a, it's a brush up. Marion's very good at it. She goes into detail on it. Um, a, you know, it's a good refresher. It's Zoomed, so you can be in your underwear if you want, I guess. Just have your camera off, please. <laughs> well, I'll, be sending a flyer in a, I'll be sending a flyer out again as a reminder with link to that in uh, a few moments. Awesome. Michelle? And I just want to uh, support that, that if you haven't done 12 transactions this year, you need to be in this class. Uh, the worst thing that happens is you get a transaction and then because it's been so long, you don't remember how to write the contract or you miss a lot and it makes a lot of work for myself and your brokers in charge. So we really need you, all new agents, this is a mandatory class. You must attend this class, so please do so. No shame in taking the class. Us? Go ahead, Aisha. Sorry. How can you register your name for this class? Uh, Cheryl's going to send out a flyer. So when you see that, just click on the link and it'll take Nine o'clock. And I wait until 10 after. If nobody shows by then, I'm out of here. <laughs> Said with hey, love. Okay. Keone, what time is the class? Because I have my last uh, business foundations class with uh, Nicole tomorrow. Okay, nine o'clock. Till when? Oh, noon. till noon. Oh, okay. When is the next if one? If you need to leave early, don't worry about it. Come and do what you can. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's good to know. Okay, cool. Sure. Yeah. Remember that, gang. You can log in, do do the part section you want, log out. I mean, it's there for your for your for the good, right? Of of you. So all right, gang. Um, oh, don't forget too, there's this thing up about Colette asking for money. Look, you guys. The company's never going to ask you for money, okay? So anytime you see that stuff, those are scams. So do not, especially, and that goes for anything you guys see. If they're asking for a gift card or, or wired funds, but most of the time it's a gift card, do not, do not, do not go and get a gift card to pay that, right? I mean, it sounds so trivial, but there are tons of people that fall for that scam, people that you know, right? will fall for that scam. So get the word out. If you're paying by gift card, it's not legit, all right? Call all right. person and double check if you think, if you know, or always you can always check with the office if it's someone from this office that's texting you and you're not sure, call us. Yeah. Uh, Keone, I thought it was a test to see if you were smart enough to be a Keller Williams agent if you fell for that or not. Uh, you know, if you were stupid enough to send Colette Ching money, you're not smart enough to be a Keller Williams agent. <laughs> you failed the test, brother. Yeah, that was. Thank you, Bob. Bob, yeah. you exposed us. You know, yeah. that was the uh, I secret. Mean, yeah, come on, if you're dumb enough to, oh, you know, pay me by a gift card. You know, you gotta, you gotta find a different job. <laughs> Bob's fired up, everybody today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh.
my god i mean that's all right truth. really really you, you got to go back to grade school or something <laughs> You'd be amazed on the people that that fail. Well, yeah, I, I am amazed every time I watch this stuff, and they said, "Oh, they scammed this little old lady over in Oahu out of two hundred million dollars, and they paid her." And she said, "Well, I sent the gift cards." And I'm thinking, "My God, what's what?" Right, oh, uh, twenty five dollars at a time, right? <laughs> yeah, twenty five dollars at a time. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, thank you all for attending, and um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for hosting, Keone. You got Thank it. You. Good job, everybody. Thank you.